Hello, plaintiff, defendant, judge, and fellow jury members. My name is Caitlin Harrison, and I'm here to make a decision in support of either the plaintiff or defendant. In order to fully understand both sides of the case, I'm going to discuss a few things that I feel are necessary in order to make a well-informed, educated opinion. The plaintiff, Alicia Derry, stated that there was a breach of her personal health information in the sense that it was disclosed to hospital personnel unnecessarily. The defendant, Ashford Hospital, argues that the patient's health information was not unlawfully distributed. The patient, Alicia Derry, signed a HIPAA form. The HIPAA form states that healthcare operations are certain administrative, financial, legal, and quality improvement activities of a covered entity that are necessary to run its business and to support the core functions of treatment and payment. While Ms. Derry's information was released to her supervisor, who happens to be in a senior administrative position, her information was released to a covered entity. Her information was, in fact, used in accordance with HIPAA and her information was necessary to support the core function of her treatment. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, a covered entity may, without the individual's authorization, use or disclose protected health information for its treatment, payment, and healthcare operations activities. Any information sent via email must meet certain safeguards in order to remain confidential. For example, any email that contains PHI must be encrypted. The HIPAA form also stated that the patient consented to the use and disclosure of protected health information about her for treatment, payment, and healthcare options. I'm sorry, operations. She also had the right to revoke this consent in writing at any time. While I do understand the patient may feel she has been violated, she signed a document that allowed her PHI to be used and disclosed to hospital personnel pertaining to her treatment. Therefore, I rule in favor of Ashford Hospital as the patient's information was used and disclosed to appropriate personnel regarding her surgery.